once again good evening uh, there was this minor glitch but anyway um, glad to be here welcome to lecture number 2 of get set grow the initiative that we started to create a community of enthusiasts for communication we do this once in two weeks and the whole idea is to involve anyone around the world who's a communication enthusiast to come together learn communication talk about this topic and share the concepts that we have and build a community that keeps learning and keeps engaging so we'll do this once every two weeks these are free online public lectures we started the first one two weeks ago today is lecture number 2 in the first lecture i talked about how this subject communication started few thousands years ago and where it is in the current scheme of academia universities schools and corporate and today i'd like to talk about the first big problem of communication which is i hear it from everyone that hey i'm very comfortable talking to my friends but if there is a unknown audience or there are a lot of people i start to tremble and i have this fear of speaking and i'd like to spend a lot of time on this today please remember that these lectures are long form lectures i'll go deeper into these concepts give some scientific concepts frameworks and then finally tips and techniques and take your questions so all of you who have come for the first time welcome i'm very grateful that you joined all of you who have attended my last lecture and have joined again today thank you so much for your support we've had a overwhelming uh uh welcome from all of you uh in the last session we had hundreds of you joining we got many questions we also started a informal whatsapp group and many of you have joined it my colleagues will post those links so if you want to join that group and keep learning with us you're welcome to do that and today we we'll learn the first big problem of communication which is speaking in front of people and i'm not saying that we always have to go on stage and speak that's the oratory level we sometimes are afraid to speak in front of let's say a classroom or a meeting where there are people watching us and the concept is that there are a lot of people watching us sometimes we even get a little bit nervous in a one on one so there is this problem of facing people and we'll go a little bit deeper into this and how it creates a havoc on our uh, communication and our lives and what can we learn and do about it so i'm going to show you a very interesting video we'll start this conversation with a live example of how panic attack and fear of speaking in front of audience can happen to anyone this happened in 2016 and it happened in an event which is one of the most publicly watched event in the world this is the nobel prize ceremony of 2016 um a nobel prize for literature was given to bob dylan who didn't come and patty smith uh on the day of the nobel prize ceremony sings one of his songs a hard rain's gonna fall and i'm going to show that video to you and we must all watch it together for a few minutes first of all it's a lovely song and if you guys don't know patty smith i must explain this to you from a indian context one of our most famous rock stars which is one of my favorites is a rock star called usha uttap ji i'm a big fan i remember in doordarshan uh she was one of the rock stars i would wait for and what an amazing voice what a charismatic performances she would give so someone like that has been singing for many many years and decades and patty smith is someone like that in us maybe and she would sing in all festivals so she's a veteran singer and this is nobel prize ceremony of 2016 there are thousands of people the duke kings and nobel people and the scientists of the world watching live in the room and millions of people worldwide watching it live so let's watch that video and let's see what happens so i'm going to share my screen and then we'll uh, see what we can learn from this so here it comes patty smith singing bob dylan song a hard rain's gonna fall coming up in a few seconds my computer takes a little bit of time all right here it comes
Where you been, my blue-eyed son? Where have you been, my darling young one? I've stumbled alongside of twelve misty mountains. I've walked and I've crawled down six crooked highways. I've stepped in the middle of seven sad forests. Been out in front of a dozen dead oceans. Been ten thousand miles on the mouth of a graveyard. It's hard. It's a hard. It's a hard. It's a hard. It's a hard rains. Gun found. What did you see, my blue-eyed son? What did you see, my darling young one? Saw a newborn babe with wild wolves all around it. Saw a highway of diamonds with nobody on it. I saw a black branch with blood that kept dripping. I saw a babe that was just bleeding. I saw a babe that. I'm sorry. Heard. Saw ten. Sorry. I'm sorry. Could we start that section? I apologize. Sorry, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I find this extremely fascinating. Uh, first of all, let's go back to the whole moment. Imagine you are on the world's most prestigious event ceremony live there are people watching you that can be nerve wracking for many of us including me then there are people watching live and she is patty smith you know one of the world's very talented veteran singers a rock star and look at what happened she fumbled she forgot uh, she was nervous and she very gracefully pauses the whole event and then looks at the audience and says can we start that again i'm so nervous and this is this can happen to anyone so my first thing i'd like to talk to you about is that if someone like patty smith who's a rock star such a talented musician after decades of performances can fail and uh, forget and experience panic attack in front of audiences i mean all of us can there's nothing wrong in it and uh, this is hard facing audiences and speaking is uh, a very hard activity because there are a lot of things that are going on and i'll talk about them one by one but my first message to all of you is if you think you have a problem of speaking in front of audience you're not alone there are millions of people out there i'm one of them as well and there are ways to overcome it which we will get through in the lecture as we go forward but you must liberate yourself from this uh, big baggage you are walking on your shoulders that oh god i have a problem i have a fear in speaking in front of people and i don't know what to do about it remove that baggage that baggage is there with everyone it's a general punishment now some people so on a scale so i must i must now share my screen and probably give you some concepts and this concept is simple panic attack some people also call it as glossophobia and it can happen to any of us so here is my whiteboard that i'm going to share with you you should see it on your screen now um and i'm going to use little bit of concepts to help us uh, understand this concept so there is something called fear and the fear has a value the value can be 1 which is very low and 10 which is very high and all of us have our own levels of fear some of us are here which is we are extremely afraid 
and some of us are here that we are afraid but it's manageable but i must tell you that all of us are afraid it's a common problem and i don't want you to worry too much about it because everybody has fear the spectrum of fear varies some of us are extremely nervous some of us are nervous but are still manageable so let's understand what happens when we are afraid when we are afraid there are two kinds of problems that happen the first problem is called the physiological problem what is physiological problem something to do with our bodies so our legs start to shiver our uh, lips start to tremble we start sweating we start shivering we buckle down we feel some cold uh, feeling behind our spine there is there are beads on our forehead lots of things can happen and that's very common the second thing is psychological what is psychological very common is blankness we forget everything which is what you saw in patty smith's video that she had everything in her mind she would have practiced it but the panic attack happened uh, she fumbled so some physiological things happened and psychological blankness she just the words didn't come to her and this is what panic attack happens now some people can have extreme form of panic attacks which is they might even fall down and faint on the stage and i've seen some of them some people are visibly afraid which are somewhere over 5 you can see it people who are at 1 are able to control themselves they probably do things which minimize their fear and we should start learning that how do we come from 10 to slightly lower i must tell you that there is nothing called zero fear i don't think that exists all of us are afraid fear is a very important emotion for our lives i don't think there is anybody who has zero fear of speaking they have some fear of speaking they are able to channelize that fear into something positive so let's focus more on that so key messages to all of you glossophobia panic attacks fear of speaking in front of people is normal some of us experience high levels of it 10 out of 10 some of us are at 5 out of 10 some of us are at 1 out of 10 but there is no one in the world who has 0 out of 10 except probably young very young children because they are so innocent they really don't have a problem and i saw it with my own son i still remember this was the kindergarten uh, annual function of our children so we all were sitting there and our children really don't have any fear right so they were going on stage they were saying all kinds of things and we were all clapping but in the corporate world and in the colleges and schools that we are in we can't do that and there there is a serious problem so there is a huge amount of problem when we say something wrong and the audience judges us and these things add all the panic problems that we are going through so except for young children i don't think any of us have a zero and i think this fear gets worse as we grow older the earlier we remove this fear or deal with it better the more uh, better it is for us which is our main focus of the lecture today so i'm going to now tell you some uh, concepts of why fear happens and the concepts are here that uh, one of the biggest problem which is unknown and nobody knows about it is called choking choking means that you experience a strange sensation which makes you choke in your throat and you suddenly are not able to speak there is no uh, uh remedy for it if you go to scholar.google.com and type the word choking in speaking you'll get some academic scholarly articles um I remember listening to a podcast I think it was on Freakonomics or some such a uh, very famous podcast where they dedicated a full episode on choking and uh, choking can happen more when we are more nervous but there is no warning it can come any time and it it need not come only in public speaking or oratory or presentation it can happen even in a social setting like we are in a social moment and we can choke because we see someone we are intimidated by or maybe a romantic angle or it could be just any unknown 
reason that we don't know about. So choking is a very big unknown problem that enhances the fear of speaking. The second thing which is there is the low self-esteem, which is here. I'll do it here. Many of us come from extreme low levels of self-esteem. Uh, this could be because of our education system, our culture, backgrounds. I've heard students say things like that I'm from a tier four town, so I don't know how to speak. I'm not as good as uh, students in the cities. Uh, some uh, in the cities, I've heard students say that I'm not from a great sounding school. I'm from an unknown school. Uh, some people have low self-esteem issues because of other reasons. So there are various reasons, but low self-esteem and low self-confidence can increase a lot of fear in people. The third one, the third one is anxiety to face people. This is also a big problem that many of us are not comfortable in looking at people. I must tell you what I mean by that. We are very comfortable with ourselves. We are very comfortable with people we trust and know, like our family members. But we are slightly uncomfortable with people we don't know because we don't like them judging us. And this is called social anxiety. Social anxiety is a very big problem in communication these days. It is getting worse because of social media. Many of us love to hide behind Twitter and Instagram and LinkedIn. But when it comes to speaking in front of people, we, we just keep quiet. So that is a big problem. The fourth element, which is very common, is fear of rejection. Fear of rejection is maybe somewhere in the past we have spoken something and we got rejected. That memory causes us not to speak anymore or we are afraid of speaking because we know that there is a bias in our mind that I'll fail again or I'll get rejected again. And there is a big problem there. And the last one is um, lack of training, that we are not trained. Many of us are trained to fly. So that's why training is very important, that when we fly, there is a fear of flying. So the training program is to eliminate those fears. So Fear of speaking can be resolved or because we don't have the training, we are slightly afraid about the whole process. So let me summarize the fear of speaking that there are five big reasons. The first is an unknown reason. Nobody knows when it attacks you called choking. The probability of this hitting you is less, but it can happen. The second is low self-esteem and low self-confidence. If you feel low about yourself, so I think you will have a difficulty speaking and expressing yourself. Number three, anxiety of facing people and what they think about you. This is called the social anxiety. You don't like anybody judging you. Number four, fear of rejection. Especially in the college student community and corporate world, communication gives us a better job, promotion, client uh, benefits. So if we don't do well, we get rejected. So that could hit us. Uh, in colleges and schools, there are vivas, there are presentations, professors and teachers grade us based on how we speak. And if we get low marks, that could be a fear of rejection as well. And the last is lack of training, that we don't invest in this subject. Sara time to log test prep mein lagate hain. Communication mein lagate nahi hai. And communication becomes this process where we talk to friends. Friends we are not afraid of, but the problem comes that we are not going to spend our lives with friends and family. We're going to spend our lives with people we don't know in the corporates, in the colleges, in the marketplaces, in the customer places. We have not trained ourselves to speak in front of them. So little bit of training is very, very critical. And because we are not trained, this becomes a problem. So let me stop sharing and summarize these two points for all of you. Fear of speaking is very common. There are some anecdotal reports that at least in majority of the corporate world, the sectors that are very professional, it is in the top phobias that we experience. Uh, and it is more problematic these days because nowadays we're also suffering from social anxiety. There is a performance anxiety that is coming up that all of us want to do well in our lives. And everybody feels that I don't have time, so I have to become a billionaire and 
uh, within a few days i have to crack exams and become an entrepreneur and become a unicorn so there's a anxiety to perform and our ability to speak becomes a hurdle and it becomes a big problem for our thought processes which creates a psychological problem low self esteem low self confidence and we end up not speaking very well now when we are hit by the panic attack or the glossophobia we experience two kinds of problems the first is physiological where hands start to shake lips start to shiver uh, perspiration comes on your uh, head and you could chat with me on the chat window if you can type what happens to you when you uh, experience a panic attack i'll tell you mine my most common is my lips start to get very dry which you might see today because i am nervous right now i'm extremely nervous because i don't know who i'm uh, talking to i don't know what you're thinking about me uh, i might be making a fool of myself so i'm a human being and uh, these thoughts can cause me to be a little bit nervous so my lips start to become very dry which is why i keep a flask of water always with me and i feel free to take a sip the second thing is i gasp for breath the third is i speak very fast like shatabdi express i remember my mom used to say ki beta train ki tarah mat bhaga karo so slow down but you know i was nervous and when i'm nervous i tend to uh, speak very fast and i would stutter and stammer and these are the problems i faced i also experience a little bit of coldness in my fingers uh, in fact if any of you is around and can come and touch you'll you'll find my fingers freezing and i've seen many people saying that they get perspiration under their armpits on the back of their back lower back on the forehead on the upper lip these are very common because when we are afraid this is where the sweat glands secrete it's a reaction of the body to fear so you will experience the same thing when you see a snake or a terrible thing and the body is trying to protect itself so this is normal phobias happen some of us have more phobia for speaking so physiological attack can be this some of us have serious problems of shivering of knees and we have to sit down and uh, the second part of the fear attack is a physiological sorry psychological problem and that's where blankness you suddenly don't know what you are speaking you have no control on your body your brain shuts down and your brain is the control center of our lives uh, everything shuts down and one by one there is like a system shut down so your body doesn't know what to do your mind doesn't know what to do you are doing all kinds of things and you'll see this very commonly in people a very common thing i've seen people do when they speak in front of audiences is Uh, start rubbing their eyelids and there is nothing wrong but this is a reaction because they have no idea what's happening some people start scratching their heads some people start putting their hands in their pocket why do they do that because putting hands in the pocket is to get warmth our hands are cold so our body is trying to protect itself and we just don't know what we are doing the audience is seeing everything and to me that is what you need to start watching that when you speak in front of audiences they are watching everything and the moment you are nervous their mind starts to judge you and it can be a detriment to your future success which is what we are trying to resolve so stay with me uh, realize that there is a scientific reason the brain is in a panic mode and when the brain is in a panic mode things start to shut down so we need to now understand how to bring it out so let's now come to how to deal with it and then i'll be happy to take your questions we are at about 630 approximately um how do you deal with this situation so let's look at the systemic problem if the brain is in panic we need to first take care of that and uh, the answer comes from very simple techniques that the brain actually is hungry for oxygen that's why it's in a state of panic and we need to give lots of oxygen to the brain and that's where breathing helps so all of you who experience panic attacks we all our grandmothers would teach that breathe and prana the breath is your power and the breath is an amazing mechanism to just bring energy to your life so when that oxygen goes to your mind through the lungs that oxygenated blood goes you suddenly are able to see things clearly 
otherwise there is a cloud so you need to remove that cloud and oxygen and breathing is the only thing you can do now you need to train yourself to breathe so please do that whenever you are speaking take two three deep breaths not very visibly just calm down a little bit make sure your lungs are full of oxygen so that the brain has little bit of oxygen there and the brain will flush up those negative thoughts that come in so that is step number 1 that remember to breathe second thing is the brain is also under panic and fear so you need to distract your brain and this is where i must tell you my favorite movie harry potter uh, this is the i think most of my students would know this example i give on glossophobia and how to overcome fear this was i think the harry potter where um prisoner of azkaban i think yes prisoner of azkaban so in prisoner of azkaban which is the third book uh there is a scene where all the students have to face a monster and facing a monster is not easy so the professor i think it's professor lupin uh brings a cupboard and in that cupboard there is a like a monster called the bogart and the that bogart takes the shape of a monster that you are most afraid of and it's a beautiful concept i can't imagine how jk rowling wrote these beautiful concepts in a cafe anyway that's a different topic uh, but this scene is one of my favorite scenes because it actually talks about how to face fears and the scene is that lupin professor lupin gets this cupboard and the bogart is fighting inside so horrible sounds are coming and the children are getting scared i mean these are 12 13 year old kids and then uh, lupin lines them up one by one and says that i'm going to open the cupboard remember that the moment the cupboard comes out whatever you are most afraid of this bogart will take the shape so how do you fight it you think of this monster in a very funny way and that's a brilliant idea so and then there is a spell called uh, ridiculous i think yes ridiculous so i think ron weasley is the first guy the bogart opens it's a spider and ron weasley says ridiculous and the spider is slipping on skates and ron weasley laughs the second person is i think neville longbottom and he is very afraid of professor snape and then he says ridiculous and professor snape dresses up like his grandmother in a skirt and looks very funny and he laughs but i think the message that this scene gives is very simple that tell your mind that it is okay which is what three idiots movie all is well is all about that hey tell your mind it's it's all right in all is well amir khan has this dialogue ki ye dil na dar jata hai so he says all is well all is well and tell your mind that it's okay i think it's the same message that you have to program your mind that hey i'm not in front of monsters they are not going to eat me up they are my colleagues my managers my clients my professors my job givers i have to speak in front of them it can't be as bad as cutting my fingers and giving it to them so tell your mind to calm down and breathe a little bit so put things in perspective tell yourself ridiculous imagine you doing the ridiculous spell on your audiences and thinking them in a very funny way I remember there was a blog written by a person who had posted that when he speaks he imagines the people his audiences uh wearing diapers uh and small children and that calms his brain down so any technique to calm your brain down is very very important so step number 1 breathe calm your brain down and make sure there's a lot of oxygen in your brain and step number 2 is to think of something to distract your brain a happy moment a funny moment but your brain needs that that emotion of positive hormones that comes through positive hormones is very important so it cleans up the negativity and your brain will be a lot better to fight the situation so this is the second part that dealing with glossophobia requires breathing and getting your brain to fight that enemy and the last is that at some point of time we have to take care of our physiological and psychological problem so physiological problem can be controlled by breathing and getting your brain right and practice there is no other way so by practicing you get your arms right you get your body right you get your demeanor right 
and how do you then solve the uh, psychological problem the blankness this is where all of you should write notes here are my notes for today's session if you see this here i'm talking about all these things and write it down because i can also forget now this is a very big piece of paper so take flash cards my flash cards are slightly far away today but take smaller cue cards where you can refer to notes one of the biggest things i request all my students is that please write down your communication and that's where everybody says no sir we don't have time and a lot of people don't write but i tell them that that's wrong i think when you write down your brain has the power to refer and not worry about blankness and it's good for you so please take your thoughts actually hamare india mein Uh, there is this problem that to memorize and rattle something is a sign of intelligence i don't agree with it and i don't think you should too i don't think we are expected to memorize everything except it's the class 6th 7th 8th vivas and many colleges still do it and it's completely questionable uh, when you are in a panic mode your brain cannot remember so memorizing everything is a disaster so please take notes you are entitled nobody will stop you and uh, you can read from your notes it's ap absolutely acceptable nobody is going to fail you because you read your speech at least i would not do it in my class and i doubt anybody would do it and uh, if you look at the world's best speakers they read from teleprompters they have notes they have materials and it's absolutely acceptable i don't know why in our country we have to memorize and show off ki hum log to bahut hi intelligent log hain so please don't do it and uh, write down your thoughts put notes write down your speeches and practice these are the only two ways you can overcome your fear of speaking and uh, last is social judgment and anxiety i think you have to ignore it your self esteem if it's going to be dependent on what people think of you i think you have a tough time ahead of you because this world will always judge you ek wo gana tha um rajesh khanna's movie um i forget the name of the movie but the song was kuch to log kahenge logon ka kaam hai kehna so please uh, ignore them after a point do what you have to do and learn to move on so with that i'll stop my lecture number 2 this is where i would encourage you to feel free to ask questions uh, ruben and my colleagues or me if you can help me with q and a i would be very very happy to take questions we have about 20 minutes more for the lecture all right okay so i can't read aajkal mere ko dikhta nahi hai so i'm going to wear my glasses and i'll show you one trick you will see ping this light pardon me <laughs> um so this weird sensation will come it's no magic this is just the light anyway so here's the question from mrigang many a times we know that we have certain issues in terms of communication however we don't realize this while doing a conversation and realizing it later how do we solve such issues so i haven't understood the question but maybe i'm guessing that mrigang is trying to say that uh, maybe after the communication ek wo thought aata hai ki are yaar ye bol deta or i shouldn't have done like this i think that's what we are trying to do mrigang um, if i have not got your question right you could send another comment and we'll take it but one of the things that happens is that many of us after communication tend to think a lot we process and most of the time it is because of the anxiety and peer pressure and performance ki yaar i think i'll give you an example job interviews uh many of the students and i've read their comments on kora that i got rejected in this interview because maine aisa bola i don't think that's right and uh, i got rejected because i i cracked a joke or i laughed or i smiled and students have their own algorithms so i don't think i will comment on right and wrong hua hoga unke sath but i doubt personally that i would probably reject a student because they smiled or laughed but the student is thinking ki yaar yaar mere ko I, i think i was too casual i've read comments in various blogs that um, in one of the conversations with my boss i told a story 
and because of that i got rejected and i'm like this is all you know overthinking so mrigant my request to you is uh, instead of you overthinking measure yourself with a simple definition what is the definition of communication calm ho jana chahiye agar aapka calm ho gaya i think you're okay but agar nahi hua so then look at feedback mechanism said okay can i ask a friend who observed me speaking ki kya what did i do and how can i improve on it i will even encourage you that next time if you have a team meeting apne ek friend ko bolo ki record karo mere ko and take permission from everyone that i have asked i have been asked by my by pranagan to record him and regang please watch that recording and see if you can fine tune better and overthinking is not a good idea you should not be very harsh on yourself have some self compassion in fact mrigank my request to you is that when you speak in front of people and you stop speaking tell yourself good job i think positive reaffirmation is very good many of us hum log bahut critical ho jate hain ki are bahut hi ganda bola i should have said like that why didn't i speak like that person so we go into a guilt trip and comparison and so many things please don't do it i think we should congratulate uh do a little bit of self promotion ki yaar jo bola acha bola maza aaya and then little bit of positive enforcement might help you so i hope that helps mrigang let's go to the next question rachat rachat jain's question i forget details during conversations how does one remember and recall details at the right time like you recalled harry potter scene so vividly rachat bhai mai likhta hu so somewhere in my uh if you if i show you my entire office it's full of paper so ye harry potter ka i think i watch movies aur jab bhi mujhe kuch acha dikhta hai main phatak se usko likh leta the reason we are told to write when we were children is it improves memory in fact uh, at school of meaningful experiences we are launching a full program on writing Uh, when i started school of meaningful experiences i said i will not focus on writing but now i'm convinced that i will introduce writing at least to the learners who come to us writing is the only activity that really connects our entire body mind everything in one one single minute it's very hard or aajkal because of cell phone and laptops we have forgotten the art of writing so rachit bhai likh lo and uh, my family knows ki main jab picture dekhta hu i'm with my my mind is in that scene and i copy it the second thing i do is once the movie is over i write a small like a two line on a cue card then i practice this in front of people so rachit this harry potter uh, example is uh, i think at least 10 years old now and uh, maybe not 10 years maybe yeah i think it must be around that 10 year 10 years one of my colleagues has warned me ki sir agar aapne harry potter ka ek bar bhi agar example liya na matlab hum log chhod ke chale jayenge because i have used this so many times so what i have done is practiced it a lot and with every time it becomes better but be careful that i sometimes say the same sentence again and again so write down your ideas practice it because it internalizes in our memory or many of you who don't want to write i must tell you that your ability to communicate will be deeply hampered because of that so please write ek journal banao ek blog banao apne paas hamesha ek pen rakha karo paper rakha karo and write down your thoughts every day wake up whenever you can and 5 10 minutes likho even 10 lines likho it's a very good practice to get your mind right so rachit i hope i answered your question next question I love this group. Meko, ah, maza aata hai. I mean, so many of you asking so many questions. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful that all of you came. The next question comes from Siddhesh Prabhu Gaonkar ji. Sometimes I feel diction creates a fear while speaking or communicating. How to improve diction? Brilliant question, Siddhesh ji. Please don't worry about diction. And uh, I have mentioned this. Uh, my colleagues can send you one of our videos. uh where i've talked about diction and i in that i've quoted an example of a very famous ceo from japan he is the ceo of toyota corporation his name is i think mr toyota i think his first name i could be wrong but his last name is mr toyota he's from the family of that toyota 
uh, car manufacturers and he gives speeches in various places and he has got very bad english usme pura japanese diction mila hua hai and uh, diction is not a problem if you look at the europeans italians french they all have accents israelis if you look at americans they have accents if you look at britishers they have accent the people from the north have different south have different aap bilkul chinta mat kijiye remember if you are able to speak and the other person understands and your work is done please don't worry about it your agenda is not to speak like the most polished um, uh, for a lack of a better example i think mr shashi tharoor has an amazing diction but he is such a talented speaker and has been uh, a great orator he is gifted uh, our aspiration is not to become like that kind of a diction agar hamari diction mein marathi tamil gujarati bengali uh, any other accent french italian uh, texan uh, northeastern southwestern doesn't matter because we come from our cultures but the problem is that we feel ki because of my diction public mazak udayegi i think that's your main problem so siddesh ji please don't worry about it if there are people who are making fun of you because of your diction don't sit with such people in fact you should tell them that they are rude and they have no right to make fun of you because of your ability to not speak some great diction english i think we should speak english with whatever we know and nahi bhi aata hai to toota phoota chal jayega no problem agar aapka kaam ho gaya you are done good communicators get work done humko bhashan deke logon ko impress nahi karna because that's a very different thing and i encourage you to liberate yourself from your diction problems but make sure that you speak slowly the other person should understand ki aapne kya bola and that's great in fact people will give you thumbs up if they understood you in a very short sentence and aapka kaam ho jayega so i hope i've answered your question and my colleagues you can also post that youtube link when you get next one mr muzaffar hali do one is prepared on the subject he or she forgets to communicate the same properly so muzaffar ji i answered this ki aap notes likh lijiye uh, keep your diaries with you and write down all your thoughts uh, practice it and uh, put into structures there is a very nice framework called uh, the minto's pyramid babra minto had written a book and it's a book about how do you write but the same thing can happen in speeches that aap apna ideas ko ek pyramid structure mein bana lijiye and uh, you could also use some other frameworks like mind maps mind maps are amazing tools mind map was a, a word coined by a gentleman called tony buzan and there are spider diagrams there are fish bone diagrams uh, there are uh, uh, bullet points uh, tree structures anything to get your mind to get the words right and then uh, write down the words and then practice it and keep your notes handy with you always carry your cue cards with you jeb mein rakh lijiye no problem and prepare please don't go unprepared what i see many students corporate people making presentation slides taiyar kar lete hain but speech taiyar nahi karte so you should practice the speech write it down practice carry your notes and i think you'll be fine next question how do i gain confidence while talking uh, rakesh ji uh, very good question first of all um confidence is a subject which is dependent on two things the first is your ability to try and finish so make sure that you speak and finish your speech that gives you confidence ki chalo kaam maine kara the second is success so make sure that you don't give your speech in front of people jo aapko marenge because your confidence will collapse so this is where your family friends yourself i think record yourself and watch your speech and congratulate yourself self congratulation is a great technique that you must do to fulfill your confidence a little bit up but be careful a little bit of living in unreality and congratulating yourself 
disconnected from the world can also be bad so balance it out little bit of self compassion is good and telling yourself that i did my best is also good second is please speak in front of your friends and family who trust you who like you who respect you and if you speak in front of them i hope they clap and say good job avoid speaking in front of critical people ek to ek main aapko dialogue batata hu ye aajkal maine linkedin pe bahut dekha hai sir please give me brutal feedback and i'm very worried ki yaar i'll give you feedback but brutal feedback kyun dunga main ki nahi sir be honest aap batao sir matlab be brutal and hamare ek ye shark tank pe ek sajjan hai aap jante hoge main unka naam nahi lunga he used to give very brutal feedback yaar matlab not brutal to ek baat hai the way he would speak would be questionable ki yaar aise kaisi bhasha bolte ho aap log there has to be some respect my request is please don't stand in front of such people ek to ye jo shark tank ka jo um, culture hai i disagree with it you can give feedback but not be disrespectful to people or disrespectful to people can harm their self esteem self confidence kisi ki bezatti kyun karoge aap aap bhale hi unko bolo ki main aap mein invest nahi karunga that's okay but unka matlab insult karna sentence bolna gali galoch karna that is not brutal feedback and my request to all you people is ki please don't say this brutal feedback i think feedback has to be a very kind process and it should be it has to be taken with a pinch of salt all right next question रचित का तो एक क्वेश्चन ले लिया वापस आ गया वेरी गुड रचित का एक और क्वेश्चन ले लेंगे डबल डबल क्वेश्चन हो गया रचित का वाइल्ड टॉकिंग आई पे लेस अटेंशन टू व्हाट द अदर पर्सन इज सेइंग एंड थिंक मोर अबाउट व्हाट आई वुड से हाउ टू इंप्रूव एक्टिव लिसनिंग रचित जी दिस इज अ डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच आई विल प्रोबेबली डू अ सेपरेट सेशन आई थिंक इन वन ऑफ माय लेक्चर्स आई विल टॉक अबाउट लिसनिंग टुडे लेट्स ओनली फोकस ऑन uh fear of speaking so if you permit me i'll take your question at a we'll spend a full lecture on listening which is the hardest thing in communication baat karna bahut aasan hai sunna bahut mushkil hai so we'll take that later next question mayur kriplani ji hesitation due to inferiority complex how to compensate what to bring in practice uh, mayur ji uh, don't think like that uh, i think don't think about compensating इंफीरियोरिटी कॉम्प्लेक्स को कॉम्पनसेट मत कीजिए उसको फिक्स कीजिए वॉट इज इंफीरियोरिटी कॉम्प्लेक्स यू आर टेलिंग योर सेल्फ दैट आई एम नॉट एज गुड एज दी अदर पर्सन यू शुड स्टॉप सेंग दैट आई थिंक वी आर ऑल इक्वल हम लोग सब एक हैं ठीक है आप आपकी स्किन डिफरेंट कलर की है आप अंग्रेजी अच्छी बोलते हो आपके पास बड़ी गाड़ी है वट एवर आई मीन देर आर वेज टू मेजर पीपल डोंट डू दैट i think tell yourself that you are as good as important as anybody else in the world because that is important that is low self esteem and you have to fix it i have seen many people compensating it and i'll tell you how do they do it many times many corporate people students uh, entrepreneurs think ki i am from a low background and because of that i have inferiority complex but if i become more successful my inferiority complex will be compensated i must give you the bad news it doesn't happen like that because that's a temporary solution the root cause is that your self esteem is low your inferiority complex is very high so my request is mayur ji please fix it tell yourself you're good enough practice don't let people bother you don't compare yourself to people and that should be good enough for you to get going next question I love the questions. बड़े बढ़िया बढ़िया question. Okay, Atif Amin ji, how do you check for yourself that you do not fall into the trap of different human biases during conversations? Very good. You know lots of biases that take us away from authentic conversations. What's your way to deal? What a great question, Atif ji. Brilliant question. The simplest bias I'll tell you. Um, um, it connect. It connects to Rachit's question on listening. so we'll do a deep dive on that but i'll take this question kya hota hai one of the bias um, and it comes with power it comes from stereotyping i think let's look at stereotyping stereotyping is a very big bias in our lives and i'll give you an example that i am a manager one employee comes to me 
एंड सेज कि सर कोविड वोविड हो गया है मैं छुट्टी ले रहा हूँ एंड यू अलाउ दिस टू दिस एम्प्लॉय टू टेक छुट्टी एंड द नेक्स्ट डे ऑन इज इंस्टाग्राम यू सी हिम एंजॉइंग ऑन गोवा राइट सो योर माइंड स्टार्ट टू स्टीरियो टाइप एज अ मैनेजर कि यार मैंने तो छुट्टी दी है तो गोवा में बैठा हुआ है एंड ही वॉज इन कोविड एंड नेक्स्ट टाइम अ सिमिलर एम्प्लॉय फ्रॉम द सेम एज ग्रुप सेम बैकग्राउंड कम्स यू स्टीरियो टाइप कि बिकॉज वो ऐसा है ये भी ऐसा होगा एंड दिस दिस इज अ वेरी बिग प्रॉब्लम दैट वी स्टीरियो टाइप पीपल कि आजकल के लोग काम वाम नहीं करते दैट इज स्टीरो टाइपिंग विमेन डोंट नो हाउ टू ड्राइव दैट इज स्टीरो टाइपिंग अगर आप किसी सर्टन पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया के हो यू विल बिहेव लाइक दैट दैट इज स्टीरो टाइपिंग सो माई फर्स्ट रिक्वेस्ट आतिफ जी एंड दिस इज अ डीप टॉपिक आई मे नॉट बी एन एक्सपर्ट ऑन इट बट आई ट्राई एंड रिसर्च एंड डू इट इन द लिस्टिंग पार्ट stop stereotyping people accept people as they are listen to their problems take every person at face value and do your best i think that's the best next question darshit dave ji forgetting exact words during presentation public speaking how to overcome it so darshit i have covered this write it down there is no other solution don't memorize uh, write down your entire speech there is a concept and on my blog uh, on SOME website there would be a blog on speech writing my colleagues can post that link uh, speech writing is an art in itself and at school of meaningful experiences we spend lot of time on it uh, if you look at the world's best speakers i mean steve jobs that famous speech at stanford he is reading from paper and that steve jobs and when steve jobs made those amazing presentations there's a teleprompter guiding him what to do so prepare and you know we are not expected to remember anything ye hamare india mein problem hai that we are expected to answer every question and we are expected to memorize please don't do that so liberate yourself and write down next question ashish anand how to address low self esteem what has been your experience with students who had low esteem um so um ashish there are ways to overcome it uh, i'll give you one or two simple things again movies um ashish ji there's a lovely movie you should all watch called jab we met i think all my students have heard this sentence and this example i'll say it one more time because jitna bhi bolo kam hai jab we met according to me was a landmark movie in our indian culture and when i say this sentence everybody is like what jab we met that romantic movie i'm like yes it's one of the landmark movies of our country and i'll tell you why what is indian cinema indian cinema till about 2000 was about this alpha male alpha male aayega logon ko peetega then one heroine who is always in trouble and the alpha male will save her and usually the alpha male is also a garib bichara you know from an unprivileged background and the ladki would be from a ameer background you know all that tropes very cliched kind of movies but man is superior powerful and woman is a coy shy has to be protected now here comes jab we met jab we met starts with shahid kapoor the protagonist hero being depicted as a loser to me that is a line landmark shift in alpha male situation right he is lost and he goes into a train and he's like kare yaar meri life kharab ho gayi and uh, in this train he meets an amazing person called geet i mean this is karina kapoor's finest acting full of life i, I don't know how she pulled it off uh, but her face her demeanor her attitude her dialogues everything was so much of confidence and in that she says this amazing dialogue which aap log print out likhe apne ghar mein chipka lo and all of you know this dialogue because i've done this so many times and everybody nods when i say this there's a scene where shahid kapoor and karina kapoor are sitting in a bus very funny scene and karina kapoor is full of life very hopeful very positive and shahid kapoor is watching her and he says ki tu apne aap ko bahut pasand karti hai nahi and karina kapoor looks at him in his eyes and says yes main apni favorite hu this dialogue for the first time in our country was actually said by a lady heroine protagonist that i don't care about what the world thinks i love myself 
that's a shift in our culture and i want all of you listening to me to do that that please don't wait for a college to tell you you are good please don't wait for a company to tell you you are good please don't tell a test score to tell you you are good tell yourself that you are good and become your own favorite if you like yourself your self esteem will go up but if you feel that i am not good enough kuch bhi kar lo aage nahi badh paoge so please respect yourself please like yourself uh, you should tell yourself every day that hey kya badhiya aadmi hai yaar tu so aise karke self esteem upar hota hai next question we are at 7 uh, o'clock we'll take two last questions and we'll get going jack sharma how to sound acceptable when we know from within we are depressed at the moment uh, jack um, great question i will give you a perspective see this art of communication is connected to the art of theater and this is where many of my students start fighting with me because sir theater is performance communication has to be authentic are baba i get it i'm not saying that you become uh, artificial but you must have this thought process ki i am in front of people i am performing and all of us perform hum log ghar mein bhi perform karte hain i'll give you an example when our mothers or our wives or our spouses prepare something aur usme pasand nahi aata hai humko and we eat it and they say kaisa hai hum log bade style se hmm, that is performance jhoot bolte hain hum log so i want to focus on that ki i think there is a performance in communication so when you are feeling depressed within but if you show the world that you are smiling the world doesn't know that you are depressed but if you are going to project this face they will stereotype you they will judge you so my request to you is please learn the art of non verbals thoda smile kar lo thoda voice ko raise kar lo thoda sa excitement karo and there is a technique to do that before your presentation please do jumping jacks bathroom mein ja ke thoda sa ek there is a very nice ted talk by amy cuddy amy cuddy says that if you go to the bathroom and stand like this this is called the super woman pose a uh, superman pose victory pose and the super woman pose is hands on the haunches you will be you will tell your brain that you're successful and that's better so please tell yourself you're successful your body will behave you're successful and the world will see you're successful but if you tell yourself ki i am depressed the body will behave like that and the world will figure it out so please perform but please balance it with authenticity next question pranav can you some suggest some good books to improve communication pranav ji this is where i'll become a little bit shameless boastful person my book there my book is reasonably good um it is not like millions of copies sold aisa nahi hai par achhi kitab hai uh, maine phd bhi kari kafi mehnat kari and i'm going to hopefully write the second version of this book but this book should give you a starting point it will also i have written it for uh, anybody who wants to start to learn communication it has good scientific frameworks hamare school of meaningful experiences mein yahi padhate hain hum log and many more things so please pick this book up and uh, it was also translated in marathi so that that's the marathi book uh, chetan ji had translated it and uh, one other book that you may want to read if you'd like is a very old book 1937 mein likhi gayi thi but nice डेल कार्नेगी की बुक थी हाउ टू विन फ्रेंड्स एंड इन्फ्लुएंस पीपल एंड आई थिंक यू शुड बी गुड विद दीज टू बुक्स टू स्टार्ट योर जर्नी एंड देन इन वन ऑफ माय कमेंट्स माय कॉलीग्स विल पुट टुगेदर फाइव सिक्स बुक्स एंड वी विल पुट इट इन आवर सम प्लेस वेर यू कैन एक्सेस इट सो विल गिव यू मोर बुक्स विल टेक वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन रूबिन एंड देन वील एंड आर सेशन प्रेम जी how to speak in a small group or start a conversation to unknown people so prem ji wait for this i'm going to spend a full session on conversations uh, it's a very fine art of communication so in the later lectures we're going to cover listening and this part prem ji i'm going to spend a full one session because conversations are so hard kya baat kare kaise aage conversation badhaye what happens when there's silence we'll talk about all that in great detail so give me time we'll come back and we'll do a lecture on that premji 
So on that note, uh, if your questions have been unanswered, we will take them. My colleagues will document it. We'll find a way to reach out to you. But thank you very much. Uh, because of you, uh, our initiatives are doing very well. Please join the WhatsApp group. My colleagues will put the comments. Send me your questions. We can either do a conversations video for you. Uh, we could take these questions and do a lecture for you. And the whole idea is to keep learning together. So join our groups. Uh, come to our WhatsApp group. Stay connected with us. Our next lecture three will be on 31st. Is that right, Ruben? Is it 31st? Sorry, I could be wrong. So I'll check on that. Uh, but it will be two weeks from now. It will be on a Sunday. I think it is 31st. It's a Sunday. July 31st, noon is our lecture three. So please block your calendars. We are going to be with you. And the topic will be announced very soon. I will also announce the next four or five topics so that you know which topic is coming when. But thank you very much. I think your energy is, is absolutely brilliant. It is making us do more and we'll do more for you. So on that note, please take care. COVID cases are rising. Stay indoors. Stay safe. God bless all of you. Communicate with confidence and stay connected. Good night.